once you've stayed somewhere too long, your camp gets cluttery. You see this? That's how I know I need to move on in the next day or two. It's cluttery. So I took two days off. So this is now day nine on the boat build. Saturday and Sunday, I absolutely just relaxed. I hung out with Scott and Sue and Keegan, which was amazing. And they brought me my roof. Big old rubber mat in there, 20 feet by nine and a half feet. One side's white, one side's black. A bunch of different adhesives to put it down and, and uh, make it stick to the roof. This morning, we are going to start by putting the back door on. Now, my logic on putting the back door on now is once I have that on, then the cat and dog can stay in here overnight. So I'm gonna move very quickly from having that door on to putting some sort of support for a mattress or a bed in this corner right here. So I'm just putting in the supports for the door frame here and um, cutting the door. They come at 80 inches and I don't need a um, six foot eight door, so I cut the bottom off. Like I woke up in a ditch Like I was run over by a train I've been looking for ways to get on But I've been hungry for days Thinking this is what I decide God, I really don't know But I keep looking for ways to get on Look what my struggles be Back door on the handle. All I gotta do is put the little skid plate on the bottom. And then, I haven't really talked about the back here, but essentially there's gonna be a little room right here for the bathroom. And then a little block off for a shower. And this whole area may be screened in as well. Um, we'll see. It would be, I think it would be great to have an area that's screened in for Cricket to come out and just relax and me not worry about her splashing into the water. I don't know. So, as you can see, the door is working. I'm going to speed up the air. So, if people who don't know, you turn a screw right here and you make it faster or slower. Uh, I'm going to make it faster so when I walk out, the cat can't follow me out. And now the dog's locked on the back porch. Do you want to come inside, dog? Come inside. He's so like, he's one years old, but he looks like an old, frustrated man already. He's only been around me for like nine months of his life. <laughs> like I woke up in a ditch. Like I was run over by a train. I've been looking for ways to get on. But I've been hungry for days. So here's the bed frame. I'm going to set it at 20 inches high. In between 20 and 24 inches high. We'll see how it looks in there. So, pretty much I'm going to get a piece of plywood, put that on there, and then a mattress, and we are good to go. My goal is to build in shelves up on the top of here, between this board. I'm going to make a big shelf up here, maybe divide it up a little bit, and then have a wall from this board over, and make triangle shelves coming down um, for... I think clothes, maybe some knickknacks. I might try to figure out a way to put a shelf on this window, a small one, just for the cat to like, maybe the cat food and to have her lay by that window on top of the bed. And then right now, all of this 
is extremely, I'm pushing on it, it doesn't move, nothing's moving. Everything's very solid because it has, it's connecting in three points. So kind of my goal is to make it so this portion of the roof back here is walkable. So we're probably going to need an angled, an angled support right here. Same thing over there. Um, the kitchen counters that come up will also have another 2x4 coming up right here, which will support that. So the goal, the goal is to completely have a, a, a chunk of this roof walkable. Staring at herself in the mirror on the restroom door Voices in her head that mirror what she's heard before All the things they said to hold her back They never seem to leave her head And tend to keep her mind at war All the things they said to hold Recap of day nine. Finished the bed platform. Put the door in so we can keep dog on the back, on the outside. And we put the uh, bathroom in. So it's a cedar chest. And it'll be the toilet will go in here as well as a shower. So it'll be very versatile. And then we finish the roof back here. Now, we're looking at we're really close to the point where I can put the rubber roof on. So tomorrow, if I get the front done, I can put the rubber roof on. Um, but it's gonna rain maybe probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, we'll see. So I might just wait until it all dries out and then go from there. Cause this stuff can get rained on no problem as long as it's not continuous. So, you're probably seeing how this comes together. Essentially, it's one big rubber piece. And same thing as gluing a tarp, but it's thicker and sturdier and waterproof and UV proof. So, I'm gonna let it sit up here until the wrinkles come out, which basically means the sun's gotta hit it for a few hours. Then it'll get warm. Then I'm gonna pull half of it. I'm gonna flip it, so half of it's over there. I'm gonna glue the deck. It's basically like rolling on paint. And then I'm gonna go this way, put it all over here while that, and then I'm gonna glue the other side, then pull it taut again. Then, when it's all glued down, I'm gonna go around and secure it all the way around with trim and screws. And then, after that's all done, I'm gonna go through and cut it with a razor blade, all the excess. Nice square trim makes everything look good. It's 9.30 in the morning on day 11, or 10. I need to look at the videos to figure that out. Um, yeah, so the roof is on. The trim on the bottom and top is on. I still got to do the windows. I'm probably going to have Scott and Sue come and help me one, one uh, weekend and maybe do a painting party. And we'll paint the boat white and the trim tan, or pretty much the same color as the cedar. So the cedar is the outhouse. So 
that's why it's there and the shower and everything's kind of coming together do you want me down here or up there you pick <laughs> this dog is awesome this is first ladder First time I've been able to get it at a dock where it's just floating, completely floating right now. I got a good six inches of height, four and a half inches maybe, of what it used to be up there. And now I need to put more stuff in the front, basically. This afternoon, we're going to explore the beach. Try to catch that fish right there, too. So I am out on the Tennessee River, open water. First thing I notice is that the boat is very boat-like. It is going up and down with waves. Yeah, it's moving like a, nor like a boat. Not like a pontoon boat, but like an actual boat. Um, It does know when I'm on the left or the right. It is, you know, it as soon as you cross the center line, it puts your weight on the other pontoon. I'm gonna go view. Okay, so now we're at dead idle. Which is, we're probably still moving just because I was in motion. Stay river. get caught up in all these little details about how the boat's sitting and how all the build is going and how it's getting done in 11 days and that kind of thing but the fact is this is where I was at in August that's what my boat looked like in August yeah. and now right now. Thanks for watching days 9 and 10 on the houseboat build and season 2 episode 8 of another time another place i appreciate it we will be doing something pretty scary with the next episode um we're going to trailer this boat 208 miles south to cuba landing marina and then we are going to start doing the kitchen get it ready to kind of do some real river travel um in the next couple of months before it gets too cold so thanks for watching another time another place appreciate it